A diamond is just a chunk of core that did well under pressure. The quote is attributed to former American Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. I say there is no difference. I say there is no difference. As an environmental lawyer in Zimbabwe, I say there is no difference between the diamonds and coal. I have witnessed the suffering and greed and destruction brought by diamonds. And I have witnessed the destruction, greed and suffering caused by coal mining and soon by the rising coal bed methane industry. Anyway, back to the story of Malash, the Nambia people's wait for coal in northwestern Zimbabwe in southern Africa. Coal mining is on the increase in southern Africa and the global south, despite the worldwide call for climate action. The fossil fuel powers around 43 to 55% of Zimbabwe's installed electricity supply and mainly occurs around two basins known as the mid Zambezi Basin in the north and the Savel Limpopo Basin in the south. In neighboring South Africa, coal powers up to 77% of the country's energy needs, mostly from its coal hub at Emalahlen in Mpumalanga province. At the international level, there have been various questions asked about the wisdom of continued investment in coal, but there has been that increase from Russian, American, and mostly Chinese industries. Zimbabwe's coal is mainly found in Wangi, Sengwa, and Tuli. The coal industry is expanding. Profits are being made, but at what cost to people and at what cost to the earth. Coal continues in Zimbabwe, in South Africa, and internationally, despite the global trend to disinvest from fossil fuels and debt energy. The issue of clean energy in the global south in the time of climate change is a contentious issue. Most global south countries believe they have the right to catch up with the industrialized world in the end, the need to keep coal mining. The supply of adequate power is a prerequisite for economic growth and sustainable socio-economic development of any nation. Zimbabwe has begun to expand on coal production. The leading companies involved in the process are Wanke Kolear, which has been the traditional coal mine since pre-colonial times. About 50,000 hertz frequency. You know electricity normally is 50 hertz. 50,000 hertz frequency. So they suppress dust up to the extent of to, to dust in the system. Those transformers only work for about three months. Then they failed. Because they never put supporting mechanisms like the ventilation, air conditioning systems. You know, like my, my transistors, they use my transistors. Those transistors, they generate a lot of heat. All right, all right. So after generating that much heat, they need, uh, they, they need that, the, the cooling mechanisms. It wasn't good. The, the project was done halfway. Who supplied the transformer? Austin. The Austin, France. The French company? Yeah, it's a French company. They attempted with those views, but... Also, the dust is going to pollute neighboring countries. Yes. It's not only the dust, it's the sulfur. Mm. If you go up there, when it's smell your sulfur, you would... Rotten eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can even collapse there. Mm -hmm. well. Up, up on top there, the sulfur. In recent years, we have seen new players in the coal mining industry, such as Rio Zim, Zambes Coal and Gas, Makomo Resources, Steel Makers. There's also been an increase by Chinese owned coal mining investments, such as Zimbali Investments, Shanghai Energy Exploration Company, Chinese Zhongjing Coal Exploration and Prospecting Companies. Closely, on the use of coal is the coal bed methane industry recently discovered in Lupane district 
in the Matebele and North Province of Zimbabwe. You, you, you may discover what TNC were at the council level by the council officials and the prospective uh, gas miners. But the locals that matter most uh, were not consulted. Loguti was our impact ban in the livelihoods of our local communities. That was not uh, 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 done at them. So you, you cannot say that uh, e, 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 e environmental impact assessment was adequately done. As long as I can hear how that project will impact on the livelihoods of the locals and the environment surrounding the locals. The co and co gas in the district have attracted the attention of elites in Zimbabwe and their counterparts from the East, especially Chinese and Russian investments. In Wange, we recently sought to conduct a meeting by the communities and the local member of parliament. My name is uh, Fortune Daniel Molokele. Um, I'm the member of parliament for Wange Central Constituents in Matibola and North. I was born and raised at the number one colliery, which is the original mine. Um, everything re revolves around the coal, whether it's health, whether it's education, the entire economy revolves around coal. So the original company, which is Wange Colliery Company, uh, is the one that sustains most of the town. But in recent years, we've had other new concessions. We've got Macomo, South Mine and others, and more new mines are coming. But the whole economy in that area revolves around the coal. With these challenges at the local level, What's happening globally? The world over, there are calls for tangible actions against the climate crisis. Today, I'm calling on all governments, private companies and local authorities to take three steps. First, cancel all global coal projects in the pipeline and end the deadly addiction to coal. I urge all OECD countries to commit to phasing out coal by 2030 and for non-OECD countries to do so by 2040. Science tells us that it is essential to meet the Paris Agreement goals and protect future generations. Main emitters and coal users should announce their phase-out plans well before the Glasgow Conference. G7 members should take the lead and commit to this phase-out at the G7 June Summit at the latest. Second, and the international financing of coal plants and shift investment to renewable energy projects. Coal bed methane extraction puts immense pressure on water resources, especially in a dry region like Matebel Land, where Lupani and Wangi are situated. The environment is suffering, and the poor people are the ones affected greatly. One of the worst affected rivers is the Deca River, which supplies water to livestock and communities around Wange. We visited the river, we witnessed the pollution, and we witnessed the destruction caused upon the river. Some coal mining companies are operating on the banks of the river, and this is an environmental and ecosystem disaster. We are, this is one of the coal mining companies, Chinese owned coal mining companies known as Zimbal Investments. The major concern here is the issue of the water, all the water puddles that we can see here that is seeping out and going into the river with all the pollutants that can be found in coal and in any of the processes that are associated with coal mining. So the river is actually polluted. This mine is virtually built upon the river, the Deca River. And that river is upstream of many villages and many communities all over rural Wang. So that is one of the major concerns that has been affecting the rural people, the rural communities. And this ground, the ground that I'm, I'm sitting on is actually very wet 
from the water and that water is going to seep into the river. The river itself is blocked as you can see and all these water streams that we can, we can see here, I hope they can be seen, all this water is flowing into the river, affecting the ecosystem, affecting the environment. Who is benefiting from coal mining in Zimbabwe and by extension in the developing countries? Is it the workers? Certainly not. Poor mine workers are exposed to all sorts of diseases such as lung diseases, cancer and others. They also suffer from ridiculously low wages. Asemo kuzuringi sisa tibweni wa shingi beri rakasa mu mawejizi abamu piwa na machaina. Mawejizi tilewa inkoro imarija abamu wana mkupera kwa mweji. E, kanji nji, e, abamu wana imari ipopasi pe national council imari ya NEC inovaru mnisua. Asiti muri ngirija kuti abakaji kumuto bereja. Zunova lewa ni ministry edu ya Zimbabwe. Kanje tina ne kampani no izimbali opano ya beri yo abe pabano imari po pasi pama wages. Paka sika unshajo kutitakaba kutorana kutitisengane kumakots. Ndo pabaka kwa nisa kutibe badareba shingi. Tingaringi sisa kasa makampani ama China ya no amomuno. Uh, makampani ya ya ajigumu bata zu shingi zuvu ya nana. Do you know the problem with the guys? Is an inga chizi wati nini ndiri, ndiri grateful? I'm supposed to be paid 8.7 uh, 8. Uh, and it's yeah. just because I'm good at I'm not sure one by one even as this is also I'm not it. I'm not sure I'll go. It's true. It's true. They are there. Mash, are you not away? Nyara rai. It's not sure because these people will help you. Tikadaku vi gapa na papa na chimobuda. And it. I'm not sure I'll go. Kunene makasara ba chishe zo mashure kwa angu. Dahe nda uko ni katpero. Ngai chinjio ndi sipo. Instead of you getting 19,000, you want to continue working here, get 18,000. If you have a case, you have 12,000. But he's a sampler that pays him. If you have a case, you have something like 20-something thousand. But if you have a case, because you have a case, you have a case, you have a case, you have a case, Continue to cook, 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 and drink. No go. Or is that eight twelve thousand? We go to Basa. Can I get twelve thousand? Then they get that money, and if they get that money, they are afraid to tell me, so that I look into the issue. And it because even when we are not getting the Basa, then they just keep quiet about the harassment. They don't say anything, especially when the Pakango Zingiwa chairman, chairman Akayenda, we are we, and it most of them are afraid. One or two of them are the only people who talks out, and it's but the rest of the workers they don't. Go on. He's saying it now, but the truth is, we say it now, we talk, we discuss. But they hide just because they still need to keep their jobs. But now, if you don't have one, they will go and go and do my job. You people are supposed to pay this, this, and this, and this, and this. When the new rate comes, I go and show them Maria, go help Maria cut. If one of our is a Maria Kat, and this, then they are called. If Papa, but they will never say. I'm not to share one by one. You mean you not share them? As you move around, that's how you move. They are unjust, but they are aware of the share. And I'm not share. Ah, I'm aware of everything. You mean you are going to have one? That's how you move. And I'm not. What's your? Can I share with you, Papa Sarako? Instead of you getting twenty-four thousand, I'm giving you sixteen thousand, just because they need that job. Then they have to keep the sixteen thousand instead of them. Speaking out, they just you see, instead of them now, but if I trip a match at in 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 our we go and confront that person, they say no, at least it was not in the middle of the in that town. So there is no working condition here in today because I go and find those guys, pay these people, Maria David, and then you move out, then the China starts calling them one by one. One by one, you are good for you to keep this job instead of me giving you 19,000, cheap you are 15,000. Instead of you giving this man, cheap you are Maria Kat. But just because they need the job, they'll just keep quiet. And the hippa papa, if you tell them that Munu ne Munu got to pay sleep, you get here and some of them won't agree. 
So Wange National Park is one of is the largest national park uh, in Zimbabwe, and we have species that include elephants, rhinos, uh, lions, leopards, and cheetah. We also have giraffes, zebras, kudus, etc. And for the bird species, we have the migratory birds like the European bee eater. Uh, Egyptian goose is in if there are many. Uh, in their water beds, they are found in areas with water, like this one is an artificial water park. Coal mining in Wangi National Park will result in increased human and wildlife conflict. Uh, that is death of either the animal or the people. Also, there is a loss of biodiversity, loss of diversity. I wanted to do some research on that because I also really feel that when there's mining in these national parks, one they, that's when they may even drive away you know, wildlife from their traditional areas, even nearer to human villages, and then we begin to have again the human wildlife conflict. There's also the issue of um, young competition for resources in between. At least my owner, this is what the workers go through. We traveled to Dinde community. The communities and the local leaderships woke up to find Chinese miners setting up a coal mine and setting up a coal power plant. <laughs> My China, my Stivar, we are Kusoita mining project. Yao, I seem so Akawea, Wakawea, sometimes Muna December 2019. I spoke Akanguia, Wakanguia, and material. Zuka Shami Savan, Guti, Wanawa, Chi Chavaruda Quita, Scanza, no Tanguia Panapo, Tuda Quita mining, Guspani, Belt, Marash, Saka, Avanagana, Umboko, South Amun. Saka from there, a eh, Pakaita resistance in my residence. Dok Chivad Zingava Kainda. Locum Bira Seva Garim no Mutai Marvatin Zratsi. This is the same as the Wedum no. You could cover good end is at Tombos. When go on my China, no good out to promise out in Dokita if I could die. As soon as I chose Zora Zoreka would be read. Tineva and Abano in the school. Coal mining increased with the rise of the settler economy in the 1940s in Rhodesia, the then name for Zimbabwe. The essence was to power the increasing demand for industrial and residential electricity by the settler economy. Coal mining in Zimbabwe started around 1895 with the arrival of the colonialists. The first shaft was commissioned by the Wangi Co Railway and Exploration Kanban at number one collier around the 1903s. Years later, new mines are opening up in the region. And most relevantly, the follow-up coal bed methane industry is also opening up. Coal mining has also been the cause of some of the worst disasters to befall Zimbabwe. In 1972, when a June morning, around 427 workers perished when a methane gas explosion ripped apart the Anglo-American-owned Wangi mine. We traveled to the site of the Kamandama mine disaster. Over there, this memorial contains 427 names Sharing the number as well as the name of the miners who carried at this site. It's actually used to be a mining shaft, but uh, it was closed as a part of that disaster because most of those bodies couldn't be retrieved because they were about continuous blast. So this just reminds us of the destructive nature of the mining industry even before the world became much aware of the impact of fossil fuels on climate change.
When coal and coal bed methane burns, local communities are affected the most. Coal emits lots of toxins and pollutants such as mercury, lead, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, particulates, and various other heavy metals. Just behind this dump site is a community of coal workers. You know, small houses, which houses some of the, the, the mine workers from the power station, from the coal, coal companies. And there's really very little demarcation between the neighborhood and the dam site. One road system, and it mm. uh, Nanas, our road is bad. We cannot say you can drive. You need my four by fours. When it's matters to dig as you can't really be happy to drive into Chikubo. So we've got a big challenge in you know, order attention. Another challenge we have, uh, apart from the road, uh, near communication. We are actually isolated at Nine Network. Mm -hmm. The e-learning during the COVID uh, times, we could not do it because my phone has to have early warning systems for a cyclone. Even here, yeah, of course, the, the early warning systems during the cyclone, the, there wasn't because there was no communication. To be, to be frank, in this community, how many? It's like a drop in the ocean. Director, the the pregnancy, supposed to be was but it's a tad sina urunge zira is this what is what in branch is what is a cyclone. Yang kwa nisho utu para zira zese. Zuva zaenda zese ne huku. Chichi. Huku tanga tanga tenga. Chichi tenga ma burela utuwa zoda ito zoda. Zese zaka wa zapera. Ma maka mbuzu wane ili zaketa sika isa iso. Saka mbesa iti kere. Haa. Tanga tisa tisa zona iso. Tanga tisa tisa zona iso. Kutu tanga tisa tambo zewa tukini mbura inu daro. Zinuzo taka zetu ona pamu soro kuti ah mvura ino rukona kudai kutora ufumi wedu wetu ngeti na umkati mama Zimbabwe uchienda ah zetu wa. Kwa vipi papo kwa nda primary primary yaka yaka paralos kusaganya si ndari ni anga iko bori nani. Saya Maria kah parara, ne about tof, tof, jaga classroom, mat tof, kafe dekat dengan jeka. Kadang aku, jaga mira mira, aku zau zungu ikan, kadang aku mira mira tu di, tu di, ni staff yang, eh, bazi suang di rumah tu cerita apa? Hey, jadi ni, jadi ni apa nama MP? Aku shana nampi, aku tahu tu batas aku shana nampi MP, aku pasal. 
Padini, 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 padini. Padai, padai, padai. Pio, chiti batia. Chika, papa, primary. Chika, papa, bro. Yes, I'm here. For the updates, my name is Lenin Chisaira, I'm from Zimbabwe. So my question is, um, as African states and negotiators, what one main success can you say has come out of this UN Climate Change Conference COP25? You know, especially one that can be celebrated by African people who right now are dying from climate-induced disasters without compensation and who are facing food security challenges due to climate change and climate injustice. Or uh, in simple terms, we can say this was a waste. Thank you very much. Uh, let's answer those first, and then we'll take the next round. Um, for, my, for my colleague in Zimbabwe, what success to be celebrated by the African people back home? Well, let's wait until the end, and then we'll see if there will be a success or not. I mean, for the time being, um, the subsidiary bodies deals with the regular items on the agendas. The important items, as we said, and as Seni and Tangi have mentioned, are being discussed now, be it under the, the loss and damage mechanism, be it under the finance part, um, I, unfortunately, the other parts that relate to support for developing countries like, like the, the expert group, the CGE, or the funding for reporting have not seen a success in the discussions and they are postponed for next year. So for the time being, we cannot say that it is uh, something to celebrate back home in Africa. Local communities in Matebele and North and around Zimbabwe suffer from these effects so that other people make money. They have the problems without accessing electric power. The, the, the situation is a bit different since the turn of the centuries. The new mining companies that have come through to Wange, especially those under the Chinese, they have not really invested in local community development. And uh, it's a very disappointing situation. And I think mostly it's because the local communities have not been organized enough. And as the office of the MP, one of the reasons why we are hosting the mining in Daba is because we want to push for a stakeholder alignment so that we have a representative structure for all the stakeholders that can then engage these new mining investors so that we can hold them accountable and so that we can push them to invest more. Now, with a word increasingly meant by environmental watchdogs from the United States to Zimbabwe, how does the coal-bed methane gas industry and the coal mining industry survive in these times. What is the alternative? What will propel and compel the global south and Zimbabwe into the tremendous economic leap of the world? What will assist the global south to join the ranks of developed states without resorting to coal? Is it solar? Is it mean hydro? Is the developing world and countries like Zimbabwe ready for such a transition. As the world continues to debate over the use of coal and fossil fuels, the future existence of our world remains on balance. Now is the time for climate activists, for lawyers, for policymakers, and scientists to step up 
and demand that power holders and corporates act responsibly. Our world is not for sale, and let us all play a part in line with our collective responsibilities. Mm-hmm.